What was that? My friend. Your friend? You have the nerves to tell me that he's your friend. A man dropped you off and you have the audacity to tell me that he's your friend. What would you have me say? Lie to you that he's a cabman while he's not? Are you admitting that you're cheating on me? Not yet. But it won't be too long before I do that. Are you mad? Try it! Lay your filthy hands on me again and see if you will live to see the light of another day. Dead, dead yourself. Just try it. Try it! I can't find any egg in these noodles. Um, babe, um, I am, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I totally forgot to buy some eggs yesterday. And, and we don't have any left at home, but I promise I'll buy more than enough on my way from work today. Then you made this to feed your dog who doesn't have anywhere to go to, right? Babe. How could you say If you leave this house without making me proper food, you're going to return to your family in a casket. What is my crime? What did I do wrong? What's my offense? To be treated this way What about my love, loyalty and commitment You treat it as nothing that's part of what we share My crime is to love you Is to love you with all my heart I've done nothing but love you when you know it Taking everything you've done Cause I love you I love you with all my heart You keep taking me for granted uh, Now I've reached the top of my leaning You're late to your taking Um Why? Hi, Carol, you're here Yeah The manager was here earlier and he took note of your absence. Carl, you know I would have called up for you. Yeah, I, I tried, but he wasn't buying it. Fine, I'll, I'll answer to my query. But you know you're gradually becoming a habitual late comer. And this wasn't the case before you got married. What are you insinuating? Is it cost right? I'm not going to let you meddle into my family affair. Even when you're dying in silence. What are you on about? You know I overheard your conversation on the phone. I don't know the man I'm married to anymore. Felix has become a beast. 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 Since he lost his job, he said, he said, 
I'm, I'm an agent of darkness sent to ruin his life that I was sent to destroy him. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel like giving up. I don't even know what to do. Not necessarily eavesdropping. Okay, what are you still doing in that marriage? What you did was evading my privacy, which is totally wrong. But I'm just going to let it slide. Okay, are you going to leave the real issue on ground here and count stones, Rita? You're being abused by someone who's meant to protect you. I am not. I am not going to let you talk about my marriage like that. I am only worried about you. Thank you. I really appreciate that you're worried about me. But not to worry. I'm fine. I'm good. Thank you. You need help. Leave my office. I need to concentrate. Okay. What's my offense to be treated? What about my love, loyalty, and commitment? You treat it as nothing that's part of what we share. My promise is to love you with all my heart. I've got nothing but to love you when you know it. I've taken everything. <sighs> Something it took to you eat. so long. Um, the traffic was a lot today, and I I had to stop by at the mega store to buy some food stuff. Without putting my welfare into consideration, babe, I'm I'm so sorry. I thought you would fix something for yourself before I return. Oh, Do you you, you, return. you thought I'll fix something for myself? So because I no longer have a job, I've been instructed by the boss at home to, to take care of the kitchen. Huh? Is that it? You know, this should be a lesson to all men. If you don't want to be miserable in life, do not let a woman feed you. Babe, you're taking this too far. You know that's not what I meant. So what did you mean? All I said was, you could have fixed something for yourself to eat until I return to do the cooking. And what is the difference from what I said earlier? You made it sound like I, I was instructing you to cook for us. And that sounds ridiculous. The next time you call me ridiculous, I'll turn your face into a nightmare. Do you understand me? Go inside and make me food, you barren bitch. no longer welcome in my fiance's house? Um, I never said so. I was tattled, so I wasn't expecting you. I was bored at home. So I decided to come over for the weekend. On a Thursday? 
Yes, tomorrow is Friday. You don't have to remind me. It's too early to come over for the weekend. Well, okay. At least did you fix me something to eat? Hmm. If only I made food stuff in the kitchen. And you couldn't get some yourself. With whose money? Oh. You know what? Never mind. Thank you. Hi, Snapchat. <laughs> See this dress. I want it. You can get it. Um, it's hundred and fifty thousand naira. Okay. Okay. Is that all you have to say, baby? Are you getting it for me or not? Wait. Hey, am I the one that's supposed to get you a dress worth a hundred and fifty thousand naira? Mm-hmm. Are you not my boyfriend? Yes, I am your boyfriend, but not your sugar daddy. So, because of ordinary 150,000 naira, you're preaching like this. Ha! <laughs> ordinary? How can you be so jobless and desire a designer where worth 150,000 naira? What is wrong with you? Uh -huh. Yes, what, what exactly is the color of your problem? Uh -huh. So because I'm jobless, uh, so I should also look homeless, ba? When I have you as my boyfriend, you must be joking. I didn't know being or having a boyfriend now seemed like an occupation to you. Amazing. Listen, I have an early day tomorrow and I'm not cut off for this. Good night. You're not sleeping on me, are you? Girl, I'm talking to you. Girl, don't tell me you're sleeping on me. Hey. Hey. Snow White. Yes. Yes, please. Um, I need a, a house help from your agency. A female, preferably. Forward me your account details so I can, you know, send the money to you ASAP. All right, thank you. Hi, Riri. Carl. Yeah. You're here to go for lunch. Not without you. Yep. Carl. Mm -hmm. I know you wanted me. And I still want you. Married. Married. To someone who doesn't deserve you. That is none of your business. I say who? So. Of course it's my business because I care. And you know my feelings for you is always genuine. Even before you crossed path with that. What's the adjective I can use to Okay, I think yes. Even before you crossed path with that idiot, you got Do not talk about my husband like that. Get out of my office. Leave. Now.
Ribeza. Who are you? My name is Ogisa. Do you know her name? Who employed you? Your wife, sir. My wife. Rita! Rita! Miss Oge, she's she's the new herself. Um, I employed her so she can assist you while I'm at work. Who gave you the permission to employ her? Uh, babe, um, I was going to tell you the other night, but you shut me up. So, because you're now making more money. You decided to show yourself. You decided to employ someone to take care of our matrimonial home. Is that it? Um, huh? You want to lord over me? Babe. What is this? No, I. That's that's not what. That's, that's, that's not what. That's not what. Why don't you stop drinking? What? Why? <laughs> Come here. I'm not done with you. You're shot. Mother. Mother. Come on, my friend. Will you, will you stop? You know, I could have ignored you totally after the slap I got from you yesterday. Then again, seeing you with the bandage this morning. What happened? Uh, nothing. I'm, I'm fine. And you know, that's not true. Not with that bandage on your head. Let me guess. He did his usual thing again, right? Or oh, are you going to slap me again for calling him a coward? Because of, of course he's a coward. You don't get tired, do you? I wish I can. I just, I can't fathom why you find comfort in the arm of a beast, Rita. Carl? My life, my decision. So you better learn to know boundaries. Boundaries, Rita. Boundaries. You know, I've never seen a woman who hates herself so much like you do. But. I want you to know that you deserve better. DHR wants you to attend to this immediately. to be happy. 
does my engagement upset you? Rita, you know I've never hidden my desire to have you. So why should another man winning you over be a point for me to celebrate? Even if Felix hadn't come to the picture, you and I, we still will never be an item. Because you're my colleague. And you know me, I don't do office relationship. But hey, you, you're my guy. You're my G, and you would always be my G. Hmm? I'll always be your G. Yeah. Really? You know, when it comes to marriage, be it a spec or being a colleague, becomes secondary. The heart comes first. So you should desire a man who would love, respect, and cherish you. Please, 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 spare me those sermon. It's not like you are a saint. You are not a saint. I never said I am. You are not a saint. So please, let me marry my spec and watch every other thing fall into place. <laughs> Come on, be happy for me. What's my offense to be treated this way? What about my love? Loyalty and commitment You treat it as nothing less but what we share My crime is to Just to love you with all my heart Me? I've done nothing but I love you Can we no talk? Way. Talk about what? I've taken everything you've done Cause I love you Where it went wrong, where I went wrong, what I'm not doing right, what I'm doing wrongly, my, my crime, my flaw. You really want to know? Yes. Your bad luck. The Bible says, he who findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. Which favor did I obtain? Hmm? You are a curse. You are the opposite of good luck. How can a man go from here to here? Ever since you came into my life. In fact, I was even doing better as a single man. Since you stepped into my life, everything just disappeared. I don't have a job. No money in my account. Everywhere I turn to, nothing. I'm frustrated. Huh? What you cannot do truly does not exist. What else do you want to do? That's fate. There are ups and downs in every human life at some point. Mm. All we just have to do is, is just pray Don't and... touch me. Don't touch me. You're even speaking English. Don't touch me. Faith. Ups and downs. All we have to do as a family is just... It's just pray for you to bounce back to your feet. Beating me up and maltreating me is not going to solve anything. It's only, it's only just going to make things worse. I am your wife. At least show me some respect, if not for anything, for the fact that I still provide for the family. Oh. Oh. 
So that was your plan all along. Hmm? To render me useless so you can take charge while I become a puppet in this marriage. <laughs> I'm going to frustrate you. I will frustrate you till you regret that decision. Lisa! 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 Yes, baby! You're welcome! How is your day today? What happened to my television? I sold it. You, 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 you did what? Baby, you know, I promised the cloth vendor that I'm going to buy it. And I don't want her to think I don't have money, you know, now. And um, you refused to give me the money. So I come, think I'm, I said, I can sell the TV, pay the cloth. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> Wait. You sold my television to pay for a designer wear. Very fine one. Wow. Very fine. Amazing. Brilliant stuff. I see your beauty has gotten into your head. That you think I cannot afford to lose you because of those your bedroom lines, right? Baby. Baby. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Mm. Nothing. I am not going to stand here and exchange words with you, okay? Brilliant stuff. Nice one. Nice. How many designer wears? I think more than one. Nice one. Is it for TV? Mm. Just one. Baby, is it because I sold the TV? No, oh, is it an ordinary TV? Well, How are you this you man? Need an amazing choice. Wow. Is it not TV? What is the big thing now? Ordinary TV. Papa. What is it? And why is everywhere so messed up? I've been looking for my phone for the past two hours now. I can't find it. I'm sorry about that. Here. Who owns the same? Yes. 
And where did you get it from? From your phone. And where is my phone? I sold your phone to order for a new television. Didn't you notice? You sold my phone to get a new TV? Just the same way you sold my television to get a new designer wear. You can as well sell the designer wear to get yourself a new phone. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh my god, girl, you are so petty! And trust me, if you continue like this, I will start cheating on you! You're so mean! Oh my god! I could I you just saw my phone! Is that a threat? Like I am your big truth. If you think you're so indisposable, you better think again. Really? Yes, really. You can tell your designer where to get yourself in the phone of this thing. Girl, you are so mean! You are so fucking idiot me! Oh god, my god, it's on my phone! Babe, um, good afternoon. Um, uh, please, um, I mean, I've been searching for my car keys. Please, do you know where it is? I, I can't, I can't find it. It's with me. Oh, you do? Oh, thank God, babe. I'm, I'm, I'm really late for where I'm going to. Please, where did you keep it? I'm using the car, and I'll be using it later today. Okay. Uh, what about your car? I sold it. What? You sold your car? Why? Because I needed some money. Besides, it's my car, not yours. I don't need your permission to sell my car, do I? Babe, you should have at least told me before, before selling it. I, I would have given you the money you needed. So you can have your story to tell the world how you feed me and cater for the family, right? Thank you, Mrs. Goodness. Babe, I am already late for where I'm going to and ordering a car will delay me more. Please, where did you keep my car keys? Oh, so you want me to be the one to, to enter public transport, huh? The audacity, you know what? Henceforth, I own the car. Sort yourself out. What? Babe. B babe. What just happened? This one like this. Da 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 Nice, nice, nice trooper. Oh, fuck. That was really close. Oh, damn. Guys, call now. Are you just going to sit there and watch me? What do you want me to do? 
Are you not going to stop me? Can't you see I'm living with my luggage? No one stops anybody from doing them a favor. Oh, really, Carl? So my living is not a favor to you? This is how bad you want to get rid of me? Lisa, if you hear me, you would like to get rid of you. Trust me, because you're beginning to become a nuisance. Carol. Are you the one saying all this to me? I regret it. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Yes, because I, I don't see this relationship heading anywhere. Sorry. Like, like seriously? Like seriously. Ha! Hey! 2 one, that was swift. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done, well done, boys. <laughs> Well done, well done, well done. Well done, boys, well done, boys. It's cold, you know? Hey, that was... Oh, <laughs> that was close. I feel myself with the slippers. Yes. Huh. Yes. Nice. It's close. <laughs> what happened? No, 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 that's not the exit, actually. to your car? Um, it, um, it, it's faulty. I, I took it to the mechanic. You and I know you're not saying the truth. Um, what makes you think that I'm lying? I've been watching you, Rita. This is the fifth day in a row you came to work in a cab. Okay, the other day I saw you crying silent. So, what happened? Tell me. He took the car away from you? Hmm? Yes, he did. But I am I'm not complaining. Oh yes, you're not complaining. I don't need your permission to know that you regret marrying your spouse. I should drop you off. Why didn't you knock before barging in? I just caught you. In bed. With our maid on our matrimonial bed and you remind me the essence of knocking before entering the bedroom? Excuse us. You are insane. You are insane if you think I'm going to live. What? Are you, are you, are you mad? No, it's not me. Come, sit. 
Are you crazy? Are you? Don't move. Don't move. Come on, shut up. please I am listening why is your face like that now are you going to say whatever you have to say or you just want me to walk away okay okay fine I'm sorry for all I've been doing please I beg of you forgive me let's just turn a new leaf now and I promise I won't do them again please Who is Rita? Are you going to talk? Who is Rita? You're not talking. Who is Rita? So now you're cheating at... Oh, you're cheating on me, girl. Who is Rita? Hey! Remember to take your medication as the doctor instructed. You still do not want to tell me what happened. I don't want to talk about it. Um, it's fine. I, I will respect your decision. Thank you. I need to, I need to leave now. So it has got him to the point of you calling me by my name. Because I can take it anymore. What you were doing was tearing my heart apart. And I know my Go inside. Pack your things and get out of my house this very minute. I am not going anywhere. 
Are you out of your senses? I am in my senses. And she'll remember that I employed you and I pay your salary. Oga has promised to take care of Henceforth. And he also instructed for me not to leave. My husband asked you not to leave? Oh, please, please, wait. As you can see, we came in here. I was watching a movie. Please, I don't want to miss any moment of this film. Please. Thank you. Who is she that you abandoned me in this house and you went to see her? Who is she? Are you aware you are restricting me from entering my own house? I am your fiance. Not my wife. But anyway, to satisfy your curiosity, Rita is my colleague at work. She is married and we are just friends. Oh, wow! So now you're dating married women? <laughs> Actually, I wish I was. Trust me, that's if you should let me. Trust me, we'll be on the next day. But just to make it very clear to you, I am sick and tired of this drama we call relationship. I need space. So, Carol, you want to get rid of me because of a married woman? Are you serious? Have you forgotten that I'm a very beautiful girl? Very well endowed? And do you know how many men are willing to break their bank accounts just to have me? Do you know? <laughs> Trust me, I, I have no idea of this information. Then it saves the day because they deserve you. And you deserve them. It makes you guys compatible and a perfect match. You can, you know, go for them. Okay? And save me the stress. Please. Excuse me. Kel! You won't appreciate what you have to, you lose it! Where are you going? I don't want to lay my hands on you tonight. So, avoid me. And I want you to. I want you to unleash the beast in you. I want you to beat me over and over again if that will make you feel fulfilled. I work so hard. So hard to make sure we don't lack anything in this house. among the men that lost their job after marriage. Huh? Why can't I be counted among the men that made more progress after marriage? We are not good! Only God knows best! Well, I know what is best, and being jobless is not the best. Does that, does that justify your, your frustration and, 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 and the pain you unleash on me? I don't need to justify anything. I just want you to know how much I hate you. Divorce me. Please, divorce me and no. set me free, please. No. 
No. Please. You think I don't know how much I stand to lose if I divorce you? If you want to divorce, bring the papers and I'll sign them. Please, please, divorce me, please. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Why are you crying? Did I touch you? Eh? Eh? Divorce me, please. I didn't touch you and you are crying. If I touch you, what will happen? Stop it. I just... Hey, one more time. He, one more time. You keep taking me for granted. Now I've reached the top of my limit. I'm walking away from you. But I can take it anymore. What you are doing. Hey, Carl. Hey. Um, what are you doing here? I came to see Heather. Okay. How long have you been standing there staring at me? Long enough to notice that you have so much on your table. Yeah. You know, I've had limited time to do a lot of work, so it has left me with so much work on my table. You can see. So, can I help? <sighs> Thank you. I wish you can, but it's something I have to do alone. All right. Um, I know you forgot. What? What and what? Happy birthday. You remembered. Yes, because I I care about you so much. Here. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. You should smile often. It's been a long time I saw you. Wear those lovely smile on your face. Thanks. You're welcome. And um, I don't know. I was thinking if we can take a walk during lunch break. That if you don't mind. And please don't say no. I was going to take anything for the sake of our marriage. I was sleeping with our maid on our matrimonial bed. It was way out of line. And it's just so difficult for me to let slide. Oh, wait. He did? Yes, he did. He even asked her not to leave on my orders. What nonsense. What is she doing in such marriage, Rita? I should leave. Why not? Carl. That's what he wants. He... He asked me for a divorce. Why should I make it easy for him? What, what are you talking about, actually? Is your life not worth anything to you? Don't worry. I'm stronger now. Let's go back to the office.
What was that? My friend. Your friend? You have the nerves to tell me that he's your friend. A man dropped you off and you have the audacity to tell me that he's your friend. What would you have me say? Lie to you that he's a cabman while he's not? Are you admitting that you're cheating on me? Not yet. But it won't be too long before I do that. Are you mad? Try it! Lay your filthy hands on me again and see if you will live to see the light of another day. Dead, dead yourself. Just try it. Try it. Thing to talk to you about. I am tired, stressed, I need to sleep, and I need to wake up early for work tomorrow. Please don't forget to turn off the light. I should turn off the light. I should turn off the light.
is my crime what did i do wrong what's my offense to be treated this way what about my Where are you coming from? The last time I checked, I don't owe you any explanation as to my whereabouts. You can't live under my roof and call the shot. Where are you coming from? Hmm. Get rid of me by filing for a divorce if you cannot cope. You are still my wife by law. You owe me an explanation. My jobless husband. Do the needful by filing for a divorce. Listen, I am trying so hard not to do something that the both of us are going to regret. Felix, look at me in the eye. No longer afraid of you. You can't go to hell for all I care. Come. Oh. Sorry. Oh. 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 Your husband suffered a traumatic brain concussion. Mm. Okay, so what are we up against? He is most likely not to see you again. All right, Doctor. Thank you for your efforts. Like I said, no matter what happened, he is still your husband and shouldn't be abandoned at this moment. I've heard you, Doctor. Okay, I'll return to the hospital. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Rita, not Ma. 
And who are you leaving him to in his present condition? Ma, ma please, I, ju I just want to go and see my parents. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. No. You are going nowhere. And if you dare escape, I will sue your agency for damages and tell them that you stole a hundred million naira from my house. And you know what that means. You and your beloved husband are in this together. Now take your bag and go inside or you see the beast in me. Please, please I'm begging you, please forgive me, please. Okay. I don't have anything against you. I just want you to enjoy this marriage you've put yourself into. I want you to enjoy your man. Go inside with your bag. Now! What is my crime? What did I do wrong? My offense to be treated this way. What about my life? I don't think of me. You truly did nothing this far. Yeah, you are. This place doesn't smell like our bedroom. Because it's not. So, why are we here? We? No. You. Felix, I have brought you to your new bedroom so you'll be able to spend quality time with Oge, the love of your life. Baby, please, don't, don't, don't do that to me. Okay, please. Your boxes are already in the closet. Enjoy your new matrimonial bed. Babe. 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 Yeah, babe, I'm almost done. Yes, I miss you too. <laughs> and I can't wait to be in your arms. All right, babe. See you soon. What is my crime? Yeah, bye. Love what you. In my money. Your money? Mm hmm. <laughs> have you forgotten that I have my own money? Well, 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 well. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Rita? Yeah? Can we take this a step further? A step further? Yes. 
Don't you think we are, we are rushing things? No. Except you have some reservations about me. No, no. Um, Carl, I just think we should nurture our relationship more. You know, get to know each other way better instead of just rushing into marriage. Hmm? Rita, I don't want to take chances. I can't afford to lose you to another man. You are not going to lose me to another man, okay? You know, your words are so reassuring. And for that, I'll wait. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you too. You know, you just, this just reminded me of you. Oh, what? <laughs> am I, I am no crazy person. I am not crazy. Peace, man. <laughs> of your mistress. No, your second wife. Baby, please, I'm begging you, please, don't abandon me, okay? Please, I'm suffering. Please. My little suffering man. Hey, hey, please, please, Rita, please do. Rita, please, to err is human, but to forgive is divine. Rita. Rita. Rita! Rita! Who is it? Come in. Good morning, ma. I have warned you countless times to stop calling me ma. We are co-wives. Call me by my name. I'm sorry. If you're here to tell me sorry, get out already. No. There's no food in the house. And Oka has not eaten anything since morning. And how does that affect me? Ma, I, I, I don't have money to buy food stuff. Okay. Well, that is the more reason you should go out there, work, bring money to the family. I, I mean, I used to do that when I was the only woman in his life. You can do that, can't you? I, I, I don't have any certificate to work. Come on. Okay, you don't lack wisdom, do you? When you have a blind man at home, you have work. <laughs> Please, use your upper, your brain, use it, okay? Get out of my room. Rita! 
Ritter. Ritter, I know you're there. Ritter, is there another man in this house? I'm hearing another man's voice. Did you bring a man into our matrimonial home? Rita. A matrimonial home? What matrimonial home? The one you defiled. So you're admitting that you're cheating on me? Huh? Where's your conscience? Where's your dignity? Is it because I'm blind? Rita! Conscience. Dignity, you say. So, I don't have any left. Rita, I can't believe that you're this shameless. So you brought, you brought another man into my house, our home. Rita! Rita, where are you? Where are you? Huh? Rita, 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 <laughs> I need my walking stick. Rita. What is this? Huh? I, I 
asked you for a glass of water. What, 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 what is this? A dose of what you deserve. You should know better not to send me on errands. Stupid idiot. Rita! You know you don't have to feel bad. He did worse. He's my husband. Your husband that wants divorce from you, Rita. I know. I know, but I I just I just feel guilty all the time. I, I, I don't feel any any better than him right now. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, he cost this. He pushed you to it. And you know there are there are limits to things that someone can really take. So you don't have to beat yourself so hard. You don't have to feel bad about anything. I just don't feel like I am gradually becoming what I criticized. And I don't feel any better about it. I just wish there was another way I could go about it without rubbing it on his face. But I... Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, you know what? Just listen. I am going to ask you one question. All I just need is a yes or no answer. Look me in the eyes. Do you still love him? What is my crime? What did I do wrong? What's my offense to be treated this way? What about my love, loyalty and commitment? You treat it as nothing that's part of what we share. My crime is to just to love you with all my heart I've done nothing but love you when you know it I've taken everything you've done cause I love you I love you with all my heart You keep taking me for granted now I've reached the top of my limit I'm walking away from you Cause I can't take it anymore What you were doing Was tearing my heart apart And I know my only crime was to I took everything you did Cause I loved you you put your frustrations on me Cause I Now I'm over you and I'm walking away What is my crime? What did I do wrong? What's my offense to be treated this way? What about my love, loyalty and commitment? You treat it as nothing that's part of what we share. My crime is to just to love you with all my heart. I've done nothing but love you when you know it. I've taken everything you've done because I love you. I love you with all my You keep taking me for granted uh, Now I've reached the top of my limit I'm walking away from you Cause I can't take it anymore What you were doing Was tearing my heart apart And I know my only crime was to I took everything you did Cause I
come to my room right now. You did, cause I loved you. You put your frustrations on me, cause I now I'm over you and I'm walking away. Come in. What is my crime? What did I do wrong? I smile yeah, things to me. be treated this way. Why did you go begging on the streets with him? We had nothing to eat. That was the only thing I could think of. I suggested it to him and he said yes. I know you are wretched. I know you are a pauper. But never in your life take my husband on the street to beg again. Do not ever take Felix on the street with you to beg again. If you need anything, ask me. I'm sorry. Take this. Make him something to eat. I'll do a transfer to you as well. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you. Get out. Okay, ma. Seem bothered. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I'm about to take the most difficult decision of my life. Sorry. If I'm making you do something you're not proud of. No, no. It's not your fault. It's it's what's best for both parties, so I'll be fine. You know you can talk to me. You know that's right. So what's the problem? I I'm ready. You ready for I'm I'm ready to to marry you.
know I, I don't have any right to stand before you. But I, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry for treating you the way I did. I know that I hurt you. I made you cry. I was very abusive. I'm ready to change. I I'm ready to become a better person. All I'm asking for Say, so give me a chance, please. Okay, just give me a chance. Find somewhere in your heart to forgive me. Okay, I promise that it won't happen again. Felix, I'm sorry, but I've crossed. The Rubicon. There's no us anymore. Babe. 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 Babe, please. Babe, please. Please. breakfast. so it doesn't get cold, all right? Mm, sure. mm -hmm.
here. Yeah. Um, please have a seat. Why sit when we have all the time to discuss during our lunch date? Lunch date? Yes. You promised me one today. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Hey, oh my god, I'm... Oh, I'm so sorry. It skipped my mind. I'm sorry. Um, please, can we make it some other time? Why? Um, because... I have a lot on my table, and I don't want to think about work while on a date. Hmm? Okay, so, when? Um, why don't we make it this weekend, so we'd have all the time together, like spend the weekend together? Okay. I'll wait. Baby, I know, but I've thought about it. And I've come to a conclusion why breaking up when we can start a new life. Okay, baby, you know what? You go freshen up. I've prepared something delicious for you. But baby, I made it specially for you. Figured that you were on your way back, so I decided to make us something for dinner. It's your favorite, actually. You're going to love it. <laughs> you know what? Just go upstairs, freshen up, come down and join me. Okay? Uh, is everything all right? Yeah. Everything is fine. Everything is perfect. You know what? If you're not too tired, maybe we should just eat, right? Celebrating something? No. Is there something you'd like to celebrate? No. Uh, no. You you got a job? No, not not yet. But 
I'm working on something and I'm hopeful that it's going to come out positive. Okay. Yeah. Uh, why, why, why is Oge? Gone. I sent her away. And please, can we not talk about Oge? Please. Okay. Should I feed you? No, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You didn't take my calls over the weekend. You even read my messages and ate not. What happened? He's changed. He's, he's totally changed. Doing everything to put a smile on my face is even better now than when I met him. And what was the last incident before the sudden change? Um, I remember I stood up to him and I even threatened him and then he wanted to have a conversation with him but I didn't give him audience so when I woke up in the morning he served me breakfast in bed prepared and served by him and you didn't think there is more to read I did, but, but on the positive side, what if he's changed? What if he's truly changed and he's, he's a good husband now? What if? What if? And now you, you want to go back to him, right? Right? You want to go back to someone who asked you for a divorce. But 
until you promise to pay him back in his own coin for what he did to you or for all he had done to you. Right? And now you're, you're willing to sweep everything under the carpet and crawl back into his arms, isn't it? What are you doing with my phone? So Rita... So Rita is the reason why you insisted on a break. Despite all I've done to make her relationship work. Hey, so listen, Rita is the cause. Listen, I am not cut out for your drama. I don't even have the energy at the time to even condone it. If you so desire attention, why not just go out there on the express, probably just stand naked or something. So that's all you have to say? No, you have to listen no, to me. No, that's all you have to yes, say? Yes, that's all I have to say. If you won't listen. If you want that attention so badly, go there and stand there. Probably the whole world will see you and you trend on Twitter. Oh, that's what you're saying. That's all you have to say. You're walking out of me. Just out of me. Oh, you think I will give up so easily? You're a liar. I will fight you to the end. This, this guy must be. This guy must be sick in the head. Are you okay? Are you okay? <gasps> Babe? Yeah? Can we talk? Sure. Please have a seat. I know I became a terrible man after our marriage. It's not because I stopped loving you. I loved you, and I still do. I was just overwhelmed with frustration. I was depressed. I was going through a trauma that no one knew about. And there was no one else to pour out that frustration on, except you. So I blamed you for everything. I grew up believing that women can either make or mar you. And I came to the stupid conclusion that you were the bad luck sent to ruin my life. So I I wanted you gone. I wanted you out of my life. I did everything I did to frustrate you out of my life. And I'm sorry. So what changed? After you stood up to me and you were ready to leave, I realized how much I needed you in my life. Rita, I suddenly grew back every feeling that was lost. Rita, I don't want to lose you. That night that I went to sleep, and I had a terrible dream. In my dream, I was blind and you were nice to me. Despite everything that I did to you, you showed me love. 
you showed me what it means to be human. You cared for me. And it made me realize how foolish I have been. Rita, I am so sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am truly sorry for how I treated you. I am ready to become a better person for you, for me, and for us. Give me another chance and I will do better. I promise. Please forgive me. Introduction. My name is Lisa Carl. Bride to be to Carl Williams. The man that you won't take your stupid self off! Hey. Carl, what's going on here? Um, what um, is this? Um, um, Rita, I, I am really, really sorry. And you, what's wrong with you? What's oh, wrong? please! Don't ask me such silly questions. What's wrong with me? Are you okay? Are you aware so, of this? I... So, this is the thing you choose over me? Call this what? The, like this thing? Are you aware that this is an office? Can you at least act properly? Put yourself together. Oh, really? So all the times I've been acting properly, what have you done? What have you fucking done? Okay, you know what? Just... Oh, don't touch me! Let me, let me go! Let me! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! What's going on? Your lawyer just left after serving me divorce papers. I thought we've gone past this. What? Why is your bag and passport on the bed? I'm sorry, Felix. But I've gone too far to turn back. This can't work. I can't continue with this marriage. Baby, please don't. Don't. Babe, please. Don't do this to me, please. Please. Felix, I'm sorry. But before you changed, I already made up my mind. I am relocating, I'm, I'm traveling abroad. And trust me, I, I've forgiven you. Hey. But I cannot. 
continue with a man who made my life a living hell. Baby, I'm sorry. Who made me Look. miserable. I I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to change. I'm willing to do anything. Okay, anything you want. I'm going. Baby, baby. It won't happen again. I, I, I promise you. Felix, I, Felix. I've Felix. changed. Felix. I pray you find peace. And I really, really, really wish for the best for you. And I pray you find a good woman. But that woman can't be me. Baby, please, baby, please. I want that woman to be you, baby. I'm sorry. Please. Baby. 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 Baby, please, baby. Baby, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Baby. Now I'm over you and I'm walking away. 